Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I hope everyone's doing well. We are excited to talk about simplifying life tonight. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes we are. I complicated my life tonight. I ate a, <laughs> ate a whole pie this afternoon, and now my belly is killing me. As a snack. As a snack. It was like a mid-afternoon snack. It was like a mid-afternoon, after-lunch dessert snack yeah, that turned um, bad. My mistake was I was like, I don't want to dirty any more dishes, so I'm just going to eat the pie <laughs> out of the pie Well, shell. he asked me if I was going to eat any of the pie, and I don't like this type of pie, so I was like, no. He's like, okay, I'll just eat it right out of the container. Yeah, and yeah. you know that's trouble, because I ate my birthday ice cream cake right out of the container, and I literally almost ate the whole thing. Yeah. And I had a bellyache, too. Yeah. Yeah. The pie is now gone, and my stomach is killing me. Yeah. <laughs> I said, oh, do you want to record tonight? How are you feeling? He's like, I want to record tonight, but I feel awful. <laughs> so this will be a good distraction from your yes, belly. I will. Yes, I will. I hope I can sleep tonight. I, I hope so, I, too. I think I will be able to. Yeah, I hope so. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. send good vibes to us. <laughs> a good sleep. We're mm -hmm. in the process of sleep training Lil, and we're getting amazing sleeps because she's getting amazing sleep. Yeah, she's so killing it. She's killing it. She's doing great. Yeah. yeah. She's doing great, but mm -hmm. yeah, so tonight we wanted to talk about like simplifying life and kind of what comes with, you know, making things a lot more streamlined and a lot more simplistic, mm -hmm. um, what we've experienced, what we've done to make things simpler, because mm -hmm. it isn't easy, <laughs> I no. don't think, to just, you know, have things in the simplest form. I tend to overcomplicate things quite, yeah, quite often. Yeah. I think that sometimes we like to overcomplicate things because it's a weird sort of fucked up way. It kind of makes us feel like we are doing totally, more and then we totally. feel like we are like accomplishing more. And yeah. Accomplishing. It's like, whoa, I had to do all this crazy stuff. And then yeah. Really, when you simplify things, you're kind of like, whoa, that, well, that was easy. That was nice. Yeah. Now like more free time. Or a I, great <laughs> example of me overcomplicating was today on the phone with the government EI. I was like, oh my God, we need to like write everything down a million times over. And it was like, at the end of it all, I started off really stressed out about it. And then it became really simple, really simple. And I was <laughs> like, oh wait, there's nothing to worry about. Exactly. There's this easy peasy, quick phone call. I'm just not a simple person. I've never been simple. I complicate everything, I feel. <laughs> I'm a very simple person, but like not in the way that people are, oh, that guy's simple. <laughs> I'm simple as in like, I like to keep things You really do. Really easy. So one of our teachers, I never had her in college, but one of our college professors, mm -hmm. what was her name? Karen. Karen. She really instilled simplicity in me. Keep it simple. Yeah. Keep it simple. But no. Has, less is more. Less is more yeah. is what she said. What did your coach say? I'll keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so you've had people, yeah. important people throughout your life tell yeah. you this message over yeah. and over again. I only again. had one job was to score goals. So keep it simple. I mean, and in fashion merchandising, we have seen... Too much stuff. Too much stuff. And it's you're a like, thing. whoa, what's going on here? Yeah. It's hard for the eyes. It's hard for the customer. It's hard for the... Mm -hmm. It's hard for the senses. It's overwhelming. And I, do, I think that more and more that just like it, that kind of inspired me to say like more and more our society is getting more complicated. Like you're always on your phone. You're always stimulating yourself. And Holy shit, aren't you? Oh my goodness. Like seriously, so you're scrolling your and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And it's just, it overwhelms your nervous system, senses. your senses. Like yeah. it's a lot dopamine. to take in. Dopamine hits. Dopamine hit after hit after hit. It's just like... Yeah. So, anywho, I feel like we've really started the process of simplifying. We're our starting, life. yeah. Even like, because I feel like we're adding more to our lives because we are having another baby mm -hmm. and we decided to get another dog after we had our first baby. So that yeah. kind of complicates things, but like, we also simplified that as well because we we're like. kind of did. Well, I think more than simplified, we kind of just surrendered mm -hmm. to. The process of having animals and being really okay with the ups and downs of animal care and knowing that like Lil is our number one priority and mm -hmm. uh, the animals just like they are simple now because yeah. there's no need to overcomplicate those dummies. I think, I think, yeah, I think animals are just very simple. Like I eat when they I need are, to eat yeah. and I sleep when I need to sleep. 
and I play when I want to play sort of thing. If everyone in the world, if every human could be more like a dog, don't be more like a cat because that they are way more complicated <laughs> than humans, I feel. But be more like a dog, just like so grateful, so present, mm -hmm. so content. Just want to eat. Just simple. Dig holes. Well, yeah, that annoys me, but. That's okay. It's fun. <laughs> I've done a couple holes in my life. Oh, my goodness, I had fun. I've never really had fun digging a hole. When my mom told me to dig up the potatoes out of our garden, I was like, I do not want to do this. <laughs> so we've simplified our life by moving from the city to the country, mm -hmm. which I actually thought was going to be more simple, but at first was quite complicated because we've never lived in a house together. We've only ever lived in an apartment. Mm -hmm. We've never ran a wood furnace mm -hmm. or a wood stove together. Maybe on our own separate occasions, but like this is our form of heating now. Mm -hmm. Like there were some really complicated things that I feel like we needed to learn. But now that we know, we're just like streamlining everything. Yep. It's just you know? really... It was a learning curve more than it was a complication mm -hmm. in a way. Yeah. And learning can be simple. <laughs> Should be simple. <laughs> yeah. But I really feel like when we lived in the city, we lived on the outskirts of the city in an apartment. But we... It was like, it was more fast pace. You know, there was more things to do. It's like, if we want things to do and ways to complicate our life, it's like, okay, we got to go into town. We got to do, mm. and we did. And I, I do want to talk about that a little bit, but like you've had now two days off on this rotation mm -hmm. and it's like, well, we go outside and play with Tala mm -hmm. and we go for a walk mm -hmm. and then we have a snack <laughs> Yeah. And then Lil goes for a nap, and we didn't even complicate sleep training. We mm. really kept that super simple, too. Yeah, really. Thank goodness for Amy and that book. Like, it's oh, just yes, so. Geez, yeah. That book just keeps everything so simple. And it really it does. You just follow the steps, and that's it. Yeah. And it works. That, yeah, it's a simple process. It works. And I didn't know how I was going to do it because Lil was, she's 15 months, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. I loved, loved to coddle her. I, I love to just like hold her and then just like, it's okay. You can sleep in daddy's arms. It's literally. And we have, we have literally spent nights on the couch together. Yeah. Like the, before we started sleep training her, because I wanted to wait until I was on rotation. Like yeah. Off, yeah. And I was just like, you know, fuck it. You have pretty much, I'm, I got to do my transition. So I'm going to be up for 24 hours here. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to stay up all night and you can sleep right here on the couch. While I'm watching Netflix and chilling. And she did. And she did. She slept the entire time. And it was so funny to watch It was her probably kind of nice for you just to was. cuddle with her too. Because <laughs> she, she laughs in her sleep. So you know she's having a good dream. <laughs> and it was so cute. And then she would like kind of wake up and I look at me. And be like, okay, you're still there. And kind of give me a little smile. And then like pass right back out again. She just was like so safe in yeah, your arms. She was you so, know? It, was, it was awesome. But yeah. now I'm just like, okay, you got to go in your crib. And I'm sorry that we're doing this to you. And it's okay for you to cry. Yeah. So you're gonna let and we're here, sleep, you and know. You're gonna, you're gonna simplify this for yourself, and you're also going to make things more simple on mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> so we because have the, literally we have now the evenings from like eight o'clock on, and we have the afternoons from twelve to three. Yeah, which is which insane. is really strange, you know. Yeah. So. We literally had to like make up shit to do today. Yeah. <laughs> that time or we like, did. well, I did anyway. Well, Krista did. I I made soup and and Netflix my head and Netflix and just relax and stuff like that. But it was just yeah. like, it is weird having three hours just to do whatever you want to do. And like, that happened two days in a row. So it's pretty likely that that's the routine now, which yeah. is amazing. And if she, and if she, something goes array or something goes different, it's like, oh, that's okay. Yeah. Because I had a great sleep yes last night, yeah. the night before, and a great like chill afternoon. Yeah. So we can just re fix it yeah and get back on track yeah get back on track yeah. exactly um the one thing i feel like we really complicated was our schedule in august we had excuse me an ultrasound a midwife appointment that got canceled and rescheduled a mid million times mm -hmm. tuesdays and thursdays swimming mm -hmm. in town and your work schedule and my birthday <laughs> mm -hmm. which rule pull month um but I just feel like the different energy between August and September is, it's wild to look at. Like, I so enjoyed all of those things. Like, mm -hmm. there wasn't, it wasn't something that, like, really stifled me in any way. Right. 
but the busyness of it and the complicated that was like, okay, it's Tuesday, I'm going to do swimming, then I'm going to go here, then I'm going to go here and the planning. Mm -hmm. And then doing that for a whole month was a lot. Yeah. September is like going to be a lot more. Oh, it's even so though you chill. Have, you still got a lot of things on the plate and a lot of things on the go. Yeah. But it's just really, it's well, closer to home. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's for one. Uh-huh. Yeah. And um, also, honestly, with like Lil's new sleep schedule, it just makes it much easier because all you have to do is you just plan things around her naps and her sleep. Yeah. So then you just kind of go, well, I have a window of opportunity here. Or yeah. like you go, well, I can't really do that then because yeah. Lil's got to sleep. Yep. And we kind of go, okay. Exactly. Let's I feel like it. we used <laughs> to plan, we used to plan our days and hope that she would sleep through this or that or do, you know, and mm. then now it's like making her a priority has really kind of simplified things. In a yeah, way. she simplified things for us because we kind of <laughs> went on with our day and like she sleeps, yeah. in the, if she sleeps in the truck while we're driving, then she sleeps, but like then she only gets like a 40 minute nap and then she's just Not like, good. she's like, well, now I'm overtired yeah. and I'm pissed and I'm cranky. And we're like, are you okay? I feel like we should do a whole episode on sleeping. Yeah. A 15-month-old and sleep because... Yeah. Dad doesn't sleep. I no. Do, no, I don't sleep very good. Leon's a terrible sleeper. I'm an amazing sleeper. And yeah. I, we're we're going to instill our children... With good sleep habits. With good sleep habits. Yeah. Do it's as, so It's going to be a do as I say, not as I do. Because if I get three hours of sleep, I'm going to be like... I feel like I slept You're the like energized 24 one. hours. Yeah. <laughs> it's I don't crazy. Get it. So we also wanted to talk about like how we've really simplified like our physical being like are the technology we the te- the way we use technology and how much of it we use mm-hmm. and even like the emotional side of things and like how you know how that's created space for us cre- created space for our creativity yes. and there's one thing um as i wrapped up my yoga class tonight that i was thinking about was like our relationship and how complicated I used to make things because I had nothing fucking better to do with my (laughs) mind and my time, I guess. But I like really complicated things emotionally. Like I would overthink everything and analyze everything. And now it's like our relationship's quite simple. Yeah. You know, like I try to make it deep and I try to pull these things out of you, but it just doesn't work anymore. How's your heart energy? That's beaten. That's beaten. It's It's pretty good. (laughs) The like, most simple answer. Yeah. But I, I understand that because sometimes, like I said before, we like to make things complicated because yeah. we feel like we're getting more out of it. And like my work that I'm working at now is is now worth smart, not hard. Yeah. Whereas like I always just wanted to work hard. Yeah. You we used to take the long way around yeah. and the complicated way around. Exactly. And then so when it's like, so when you work in a sauna and it's like 27 degrees out, it's actually like 56 degrees inside oh. the sawmill. So when you're working hard, like you honestly feel like you're so heavy. It's like it feels like I put on an extra 30 pounds. Yeah. And you really do have to work smart. So like if you... So see, you can maintain your energy for 12 hours exactly. of that laborious job. Yeah. So if you're trying to pull on a 200 pound log, you know, you sometimes you let the machine do the work and then you can just <laughs> quickly just reach over, pull it down and you just save yourself so much effort. And really just keeps things nice and simple. Yeah. And when it comes to work, I've always believed that, like, it doesn't, it can't be simple. Right. It just, you just got to put your head down and do it. And But everything else in my life is it's so, so simple. simple. Like, yeah. I just, like, with clothes, I literally have one pant, one shirt that I used to go in, like, we go on fancy dates with. Uh, every with, picture of every us picture, for the rest of yeah. our lives is going to be these it's, pants and shirts. Yeah, because I want a minimal. Like I want to, how do you say that word? Min- Min- minimalist. Min- yeah, minimalist. And I want to like, <laughs> like, you know, shrink down what I wore. So I really got, I only have like, what, three or four t-shirts. You have probably 15 maximum pieces of clothing. Maybe, yeah. Max. I mean, I'm still trying to like get it down a little bit more because there's some things I still don't wear. <laughs> and then if you guys can believe <laughs> I went through my phone like technology yeah I want to talk about technology the technology for sure. just really really emptied that out for things that I don't use and like I'm sure like a lot of people know I'm no longer on social media of any sort yeah and it, it's really simplified my life a lot not that I ever had a really bad relationship in social media but I, um, I remember writing to someone and I was like sometimes like I'll open like Instagram since when I used to open Instagram, and I would just scroll. Yeah. But I'm watching Netflix. 
Yeah. So oh, my, for sure. So, so my, you're not even so my paying thumb attention. Is just doing the movement. I would literally have conversations like, with you yeah. where you were making that movement, yeah. but we were talking, and you were actually looking at me. Yeah. I'm not giving you shit for this. Like, <laughs> you were looking at me. You were having, and you, but you were, and I'm like, what yeah. the fuck are you doing? So I'm like, why am I using this app? I don't even look at it. Yeah. I'm just sitting there with my my thumb's gonna get carpal tunnel <laughs> because I'm just scrolling and not even looking at it. Yeah. Um. So really, just simplified my life that way. And just got rid of all those apps that just really occupy my thumb. Yeah. And, but, <laughs> you know, and, but there are moments where social media, I feel like, would consume you and you would, maybe not you personally, but oh, people. It'll me, consume oh. people and they it gets their mind going and then it complicates some thoughts or it yeah. triggers your emotional state in some way. And it's just like, I feel like since you've stopped using social media, your creativity has blossomed. Oh, yeah. I'm like, you're in I'm, the flow, man. Yeah. I'm going to do a video, like a little talk on boredom and how much it like increases <laughs> your creativity. Totally. And like, I'm not saying like I'm bored, but like, I just don't have the you don't have urge the... just to waste my time yeah. scrolling and not looking at what I'm scrolling. Totally. But I even feel like from like a space standpoint, like a creating space in your life, it's like Leon and I are working through it's not your money book and you know one of the steps of this eight week program kind of thing or eight week is that what eight weeks is called like a, pro, a money program or something like that um is to clear your space and it's like this lady wasn't her house was immaculate she said but she had never really organized her computer files mm -hmm. and it was like well, as soon as she did that she started to feel relief <laughs> but also things started to flow because this was like a massive block for her and i feel like as soon as we started reading that chapter the next day mm -hmm. we clean out our closet we have a big bag of stuff we should really actually bring that because yeah. that'll actually clear out tomorrow, some more tomorrow we're gonna bring it. yeah we gotta bring that to the donation to chainsaw center. tomorrow too i'm so excited yeah <laughs> <laughs> sidebar leon's very excited about the chase yeah. um but it like it clears physical space that could and does have you know an energetic mm -hmm. there's um, energy all around us there's it everything is energy, energy right so if yeah. you're consuming it with something else then what else what needs to come in Make it's it being blocked, blocked. Maybe blocked yeah. I, yeah i just think and so simplifying things on a physical level, like having minimal clothing, if that feels right for you. Mm. I don't have that many pieces of clothing. Anymore, no. You know? And even like now... I think Will has more clothes than both of us put together. Yes. Our daughter <laughs> does. And that's because people buy her clothes, clothes yeah. right? Mm. Well, and now it's fall and she has nothing left that fits her. Yeah. Just... Finally, after 15 months, we've ran out of clothes that people bought her yeah. as a baby. Now we're just now we're just buying her clothes. Which is... It's that's fun. pretty... Oh, it's, I love it. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty cool that we had well over a year worth of clothes stocked up. And yeah. now we have all those clothes for our new daughter. So, yeah. um, little baby but yeah, like soul. little baby soul, mm -hmm. um, creating emotional or sorry, creating physical space can mm -hmm. really unlock some, you know, space within you to be more creative. That's what I'm seeing with you, especially with like technology and not being so hooked into it. Mm -hmm. And just really streamlining thing, things. But I also feel like us talking about our finances is like simplifying our bank accounts. Mm -hmm. Like that's one thing I feel like I overcomplicated mm -hmm. in so many ways that I just want to like delete every or remove or close or whatever. Every account that I don't use and that has no serve, like serves no purpose and like simplify everything. Mm -hmm. That just would make me feel so spacious and good. Yep. We're mm -hmm. working on it. Yeah working on getting a joint account yeah just picking the right bank for us and stuff like that we kind of want a fresh new start with a bank and just we do we want to start that's ours as yeah. a partnership not you know other people's <laughs> input i guess but, um but yeah so it's been really interesting just to see even in the last like what day is it the 8th of september in the last eight days of this month mm. i felt already a little bit more of a simpler energy it's light it's a lighter energy. Yeah. August was actually quite heavy, which makes me sad because it's my favorite month of the year. But this year it was, it was hard. Yeah, it can be. It was busy and complicated. Yeah. yeah. It really was. But now that is done and we can now enjoy some freer time. Yeah. 
It's some space. Some space. I feel like I'm using sate is space and simplicity as a same same word. What is that called? Synonym. It's not necessarily it's the same, same, but different. Same, same, but different. Yeah, <laughs> it's not necessarily, but that's what I feel when things are simple is that they're spacious, and when things are spacious, then they're simple. Yes. Like they kind of go hand in hand. Exactly. So like, and also like clearing your emotional space. Yeah. That's a big one. That's a little bit tougher to do because like, because a lot to, of it's deep. Hold on. Yeah, we have to hold on to things too. Yeah. And oh yeah, letting go. Like, does anybody really know how to let go? You yeah. know, like of old hurts and forgive and move on but like again with the creating the space and simplifying all of these quite complex emotions there's more space to feel positive emotions happiness joy content freedom the big one the l word love no but like yeah um that one is 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 a tough one to do. It's probably the hardest one because you can just go through your closet and be like, "Yeah, don't it doesn't serve me." Yeah, just go through your phone. Yeah, delete this app. Delete this app. I don't know why this app is on. It wastes so much battery power. Yeah. But like when you get to your emotional space, it's kind of like you know, there's certain things you want to let go of. But like, how do you let go of that? Like you just yeah, it takes a little bit of work. And once it you does. do let go of it, you're kind of like, oh. There's a relief to. I feel so damn good. I was totally thinking about this in yoga. Honestly, it was like there was so many complicated, heavy emotions that I moved through this year. And now I'm not saying I did any real conscious work or maybe I did, but like it just feels more simple. It just feels like some of that stuff isn't bogging Mm -hmm. down, bogging me down so heavy, Right. you know, and yeah, it's not like beautiful. It feels nice to feel a little bit more <laughs> simple and spacious. And then, and as you start to simplify things and open to more, mm-hmm. like the things that will come in is just, it's unreal. Well, it's unimaginable, I mm-hmm. feel, you know, like you don't really ever think, you don't even sometimes feel like you can fathom what ha- will happen when you really let go. Mm-hmm. Well, excuse me, on a, excuse me, on a physical level, on a emotional level like you Mm. know it's like once you can't even fathom if you let go of this old (laughs) box of shit that you don't even look at anymore that's just taking up space Mm -hmm. you know yeah and like you just have to ask yourself and just really ask yourself like do you really need that stuff or do you really need that feeling or do you really need that app sort of thing right like well from a simplistic standpoint like really what how much do you need because to me, all that shit gets so overwhelming. And there's a level of guilt of like not looking at the app that you just paid money for or mm. that you're like using up storage for or whatever. Yeah. Like, no, for sure, 1000%. You know? Like, I lost my um, Samsung Galaxy watch. And I was like, I'm a really big numbers person. <laughs> and I love tracking Leon things. Leon analyzes and tracks everything. I track everything. Like, I. I have a day counter app and I was like, I'm going to delete this app and I just can't bring myself to delete it because I just love like looking at how many days Lil has been alive and like how long, <laughs> how many days Krista and I have lived together and like how many days I don't think till you baby soul is it's coming. So yeah, it's, it's so nice. So I just it don't want to delete it. But like, I remember, so in the book that we're reading, um, it says like, let go what needs to go and let come what needs to come and like, I was at work and I was just like, oh, you know, I got to stop like tracking things. Like, how do I stop tracking things? And so my Galaxy Watch really tracks everything I do, like from sleep, sleep to eating to drinking to stress to levels, stress levels yeah. to like when it it's a pretty me, complicated yeah, system. Yeah, tells me when to like, you know, I got to calm down. And <laughs> um, I was like, oh man, I really got to stop that. So I'm sitting there trying to get this jam out and um, I'm got a pipe bowl. So pipe bowl is basically this long pole with a basically a spike on the end of it and I'm trying to get this log out and all of a sudden like out of nowhere my watch just undoes itself and drops boom into, into the water. A, a pit of logs into a, yeah into a pit of logs that are like in water and oh, this, the chain water the chain this, yeah this chain is moving and you don't want to stick your hand in there well too 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 far down to even stick your hand in there but you stick your hand down there you, you, you're losing your hand so it's just no like point. you just look at it and you're like oh it's gone but then I was like a little bit like you were but sure. Hurt. I was yeah. butthurt for like maybe 
five minutes because like I paid a lot of money for that watch and I like I even went on and got it on sale. So I was like, this is a deal. <laughs> and it was a cool color. It was a cool color. It was like my favorite color. And then all of a sudden I just thought to myself, I was like, oh, let go of what needs to go so you can let come what needs to come. Yeah. And it just was meant to let go. Like, I don't know how many watches just, you know, you have it strapped on, you're pretty tight. Like how many just... It's pretty un- much undo- melding into yeah, your just, skin. Yeah, exactly. It undoes itself and then just yeah. slips in and goes and goes, bye. Yeah. But then a week later, that machine broke down. So I was like, oh, fuck. I really hope it's not my watch that broke that <laughs> machine. But it wasn't my watch. It was just, it was just oh, that machine's getting old and stuff like that. Green <laughs> yeah, it was so funny. I'm, was. Sitting, I'm sitting there listening to the radio. I'm like, oh, I'm just, like, I'm just hoping I don't hear Oh, we found a green <sighs> Samsung watch down in here. All and, eaten up, yeah, chewed, chewed up. Chewed up and stuff like that. Don't worry, it doesn't work. So but it wasn't my watch that broke the machine. The machine just broke. So <laughs> it was nice to know that. But I do feel like that's a really important thing. Like when you actually want to live an intentionally simple an intentionally simple life, mm-hmm. you do have to kind of be prepared for things to leave. That yeah. you might not be willing to let go of willing to let go of at the time. Like mm-hmm. I do when you told me that, I was like, fuck. I immediately was like, that was a $500 or I don't know. I think it was $300 or something. It was a decent chunk of change for a watch. And that's immediately my first thought. But then when you told me what your intention was that morning, I was like, no, I'm really happy that that happened because I know what you're like. Yeah. And I know you get really into your stats and shit. And it fucks with your head. And I know yeah. it does. Like, I've I'm seen like, it. Oh. Like, oh, I slept eight hours. Like, it's like... It's like because it would tell you how, and I, and I look at my sleep, and it's like, actually, you know what? Seven and a half hour of those hours were light sleep. Terrible so sleep. So you didn't sleep really good at all. <laughs> so it messes and I look, with your brain. And I look at and I was like, she's like, how are you feeling? I'm like, oh, pretty shitty. I only like slept like, you know, a half an hour yeah. of like decent sleep. And like, but really, I wake up and I'm like so happy. So I just kind of go like, okay, I'm happy. I may not have the best sleep, but I'm so happy. You don't need your watch to tell you how much sleep you had in order to determine your mood. My happiness, yeah. Right. So, like, unless the watch was like, you know what, Lee, you're pretty happy. And I'd be like, okay. And then if it says, like, Lee, you're pretty upset today, what am I upset about? (laughs) (laughs) But, like, yeah, I just needed to go. And there's been a couple of those instances when things were just, like, just meant to go out of my life that was no longer serving me. And it feels great. I feel like we've really simplified, like, just... A lot of our life since moving out here I really don't feel like we lived a busy complicated life hmm. but really truly we have streamlined things like the way we shop for groceries the meals that we eat like mm-hmm. that sort of thing it just doesn't feel as heavy and complicated and overwhelming as it always kind of did I didn't really like grocery shopping before and finding it. meals and shit yeah. like that it just like I don't know. But I, I do feel like the whole point of this, us talking about this, is that I, I really believe that the more space and the more streamlined and simple you can make your life, the more space there is for creativity and the divine to flow. Yeah, and abundance. Just to and abundance, like yeah. the prosperity and the absolute feeling of being taken care of has mm-hmm. kind of overwhelmed us in a way, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. So like if you want to simplify things and you're wishing to like just really cut things out uh-huh. start with your physical space uh-huh. then go with your technology totally and i would then, yeah i would yeah. do it in that order too and yeah and then take a look at what's going on inside you yeah and it may just like naturally present itself yeah as you start to one, i think one thing can lead to another too right so you get totally. rid of your, start your physical space and then you like go well, I don't need that app anymore. So then you get rid of some certain apps and then you're like, oh, this app was making me feel this way. And then it might just like start yeah. clearing things out emotionally for you. And then you're yeah. just like, let the good things come. I'm yeah. ready for you. Totally. Yeah. And then exactly make the intention known and felt by the universe that like you are ready. You've created that mm-hmm. space and simplified, you know, those complicated areas of your life. Mm-hmm. I was going to say too, like I don't have Instagram or Facebook apps on my phone. Mm-hmm. I do visit those sites and like promote my yoga and stuff like that yeah. and message your mom mm-hmm. on Facebook. Yeah. Um, but those apps, the emotional response I had when I saw them on my phone was unbelievable. Mm-hmm. And I don't have that anymore. And so when I open it up in a web browser or use the laptop for it, yeah. it's a different vibe. It's just, I'm not, yeah, not so hooked into it. it. It's, yeah, it's really weird. The, 
that that was really no, that's cool. Yeah. Um, it's really weird that the energetic pull that they had, but I do feel like, and what the this book that we're reading te- is teaching us is like, once you start clearing out the physical space, like say you're going through you know, an old memory box or something. And you realize like, wow, I've been holding on to this person that really upset me. Or I've been, you know, kind of stuck with that, fit their physical presence in my home. And you get rid of it with, you know, in whatever way you want to. It's like, that can really crack some things open on a deeper level. Yep. And create space for the good things to come in. Yeah. And that's like, at the end of the day, you want the things that you want in your life to come in Mm -hmm. in any way shape or form Mm -hmm. and the things that you don't want you just want to get rid of so just take the time to get rid of it do the work it does require excuse me a level of work to like really let shit go Mm -hmm. and like be conscious of it it i know you aren't like the most i want to organize the whole house kind of person i do i'd love to like clean the house every fucking week and throw out a bunch of shit every week but mm-hmm. you gotta kind of do the that's work that's how my jean shorts went missing no you forgot them in fucking Kenora no no we found them yes no I had to buy another pair of jean shorts no you didn't there were we found them anyways we're not gonna do this in the podcast because <laughs> we could this has been a fight for like a year <laughs> two years <laughs> <laughs> yeah long before any of our children were like conceived yeah <laughs> Crystal stole my jean shorts. Why would I do that though? Because they're my favorite ones and you were mad at me. Sounds like, <laughs> sounds like something I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a very emotional, I mean complex emotional state. <laughs> That's all good. I would have got, I probably would have just emptied them out anyways. You probably would have donated them. And... Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, okay. So the long and short of this is that we really want to, you know, inspire people to live more simply and to... Is it more simple or simply? Simply? Simple? Simply financial. I know. I literally thought of that <laughs> when simple. I... Simple. Live more simple, I think. Live more simple. Well, anyways, whatever the proper English is of that is to just embrace the simplicity that life can actually bring, you know, and don't overcomplicate because that's really when things get tricky and sticky and mm-hmm. your creativity is blocked, your receiving abilities are blocked. Mm-hmm. A lot of like the yin energy that we really need a good balance of can be blocked when we overcomplicate things and we dive too deep into the yang the masculine like you know Mm -hmm. go get our energy so yeah and like if you are looking to empty out your closet when you go shopping the next time you honestly are more intentional with what you're going to get totally i'm always just like well if i get this shirt then (laughs) like like how does this shirt make me feel do i like this shirt a lot because i just be like I'm just gonna load it up. If I don't like it, I'll donate it. <laughs> you know. This is the thing. Like you, yeah. I I remember. Like I fucking I would buy shit like crazy, mm-hmm. and now I just like. Like I'm like yeah. I'm like I like this shirt because like, like this is my going out shirt, and like it is he my literally go- bought a plaid shirt for going. It's out. my going out plaid shirt, and for the next year, whenever we go out, that shirt's gonna be in every single photo, and everyone's gonna be like, "Is that guy <laughs> not wearing other clothes?" And you can be like, "No, he just honestly." He really literally has one outfit. That's the only thing he wears to bed too. <laughs> Those are his pajamas, and those are his going out clothes, and those are his work clothes. Oh my god. I mean, <laughs> there, keep it simple, stupid. Have mm. literally one shirt and one pants. Yeah, exactly. Until your daughter, like, smears spaghetti sauce all over it, and you I'll don't have wear. any. Yeah. Until it gets a hole in it, then it's no longer. Then, then I draw the line. Yeah. It's going to be a pretty big hole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got like a, I got a hole in my work pants that's like the size of like. It's like the size of my head. Yeah, and it's in my crotch area. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm not getting these pants. You would until. definitely be hanging out of that if I'm you like, did not wear undies. Yeah, I'm like, I'm keeping these pants until like, you know, I need to get rid of them. Until the rip is down to your knee. Yeah. Or yeah. your or your shin. Yeah, exactly. And even then. Fuck it. It's gonna be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to wrap this podcast. We're keeping it really simple tonight. We're not going over our usual like fifty minute pod. Yeah, um short. shorter. Shorter. Hmm. But we want to wrap it up by saying thanks for listening. Yeah. And also, we're trying to put ourselves out there more and more with these podcasts, and we're really enjoying them. So if you guys are enjoying them, 
as much as we are, you could leave a review mm -hmm. on Apple. Mm -hmm. And if you're listening to this on Leon's YouTube channel, you could leave a comment. Yeah, hit the like button. You can hit the like button. You could subscribe. Yeah. That, and get that, him like climbing me. up in the subscriber. That'd help, that'd help me out a lot and help us out a lot. Yeah. That'd yeah. be kind of cool. We just want to like, we just want to start kind of putting ourselves out there a little bit more. Yeah. And I love being creative with you. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. It is fun. We've created enough space that this feels like really, really awesome. Yeah. And now Will's sleeping. We can do these at night know. so easy. And we don't have to stay up till 11 and I'm so tired. Yeah, I know. And I can't, I'm saying simply instead of simple. Simple, simply, simply financial. Same thing. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> simply, simplify, simple. Just keep it simple, stupid. Just keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. We're going to leave you with that inspiring yeah. quote. From Mr. Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> have a great night, everybody. Love you all. Take care.